So let, let me uh, come back uh, to uh, the United States uh, to finish you know, the time series uh, in the United States that shows you uh, incomes for the top 1% in black. You know, so that's here on this scale by how much they have grown. You know, if you have an index you know, starting at 100 in 1913. And in diamonds, empty diamonds, uh, the bottom, 99%. Uh, and in red here, I have the top tax rate on uh, that scale. And so uh, what is really striking uh, in that graph is that in periods where the top tax rate is very high, like it was you know, from the New Deal to uh, 1980, uh, uh, that's a period where top 1% incomes uh, increase actually very slowly. And in contrast, that's a period where bottom 99% income increase uh, very fast. And when tax rates, top tax rates come down very significantly, you know, following the Reagan uh, administration tax cuts, and that's still the case today, uh, we see the exact uh, inverse pattern. Namely, the top 1% explode, and uh, the bottom 99% grow uh, much more uh, modestly. Okay, so this, of course, you know, it's just uh, time series evidence, but again, you know, it shows you that the, the evidence here, again, seems more consistent with a scenario where you have rent seeking, that is, at a time, you know, where taxes are high, it's hard for the top incomes to bargain, you know, for significant pay, and it's, easy, and it's easier, you know, for bottom uh, incomes uh, to increase, and the reverse happens uh, in uh, when the top taxes uh, 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 come uh, down. And another important fact that uh, is visible in that graph and that should not be forgotten is that there have been periods uh, in the United States where you had extremely high top tax rates. You can see here, you know, tax rates are in excess of uh, 70%, and yet there was good uh, economic growth for the vast majority. You know, that was a period where the U.S. economy was growing and where that growth uh, was definitely benefiting uh, the bottom uh, 99%. Uh, percent. So to uh, conclude, uh, U.S. historical evidence and international evidence shows that tax policy plays a key role in shaping uh, the income gap. High top tax rates reduce the pre-tax income gap without necessarily uh, hurting uh, uh, economic growth. If anything, you know, the evidence goes uh, the other way. Obviously, in the globalized world uh, we are in today, uh, successful progressive uh, taxation likely will require uh, international coordination, but a country as large as the United States uh, could definitely uh, uh, play a central role. And um, in the end, the US public will favor more progressive taxation, probably only if the public is really convinced uh, that top incomes are unfairly earned and, you know, to the detriment uh, of the 99%. That is, I think that piece of evidence uh, 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 is central uh, uh, to convince the public that tax policy needs to be uh, uh, reformed in a, uh, in a very significant uh, way.